The university APR example was created by a group of undergraduate students in a science writing class. The students created this poster in response to a fictional scenario. The students specifically were tasked with promoting their university's apiary, or beekeeping farm, a place where bees are grown and raised and studied, to the American Honey Producers Association. In creating this poster, the students made a number of writing and design decisions based upon assumptions that they made about what their audience already knows about apiaries in general, what their audience doesn't know about their apiary, and what their audience cares about, what their audience might be interested in learning about in terms of their apiary. The organizational strategy that the students use deviates from the MRAD format. Depending upon your specific purposes as well as the conventions in your field, you might be able to come up with your own headers. In this case, the students use overview, honey production, research projects, findings, acknowledgments, and references to indicate what they think that their audience might be most interested in learning about related to their apiary. The overview section here provides background information about the apiary. The honey production section includes information about how much honey is produced. The students assume that the American Honey Producers Association would be interested in this. They also talk about research projects that the apiary is currently involved in and some of the results from those research projects. The finding section here is like the results section in the MRAN format. Let's take a look at some of the writing decisions that the students made. Under the overview, which basically serves as an introduction to the poster, the students provide some background information, but it's specific to this apiary. They don't define the term apiary because they assume that their audience already knows what this is. They also use technical terms, such as the scientific term for the bees that are actually kept there. Under honey production, they give details about the types of beehives that were used. Under research projects, they use terms like varroa mites, as well as commercial breeding grounds lowering the genetic diversity. Again, assuming that their readers have a high level of knowledge about the general topic. Under findings, they provide detailed information about previous research conducted. Now let's take a look at some of the design features. Much like our previous example, you'll notice that the title is the largest text on the poster. This poster includes author names and affiliations. Each of the authors has the same affiliation. So you'll want to use superscript, as demonstrated here, to indicate the affiliations of your different authors. Let's say that Sarah Townsend and Kelly White are with the same school, but a different school than Rachel Smith and Paul Jones. In that case, we would include an additional line and include their affiliations below. Much like the sample poster template, this poster also uses the same typeface for all of the text. Contrast is created by using bold and larger text. In this particular example, the title is 150 points, the headers are 66 points, the body copy is 40, and the captions are 32. The students also use their school colors to brand their poster. Blue, of course, is the dominant color that fades out to white towards the bottom of the poster. Orange is used as an accent color. It's a complementary color to blue, and it's also a warm color. The color orange is repeated throughout the design. It's used in these pie graphs over here, and it's also repeated in this map. In this particular example, the students use a combination of images. They use two photographs, they use pie graphs, a type of scientific graphic, and they also use a map. Much like the sample poster template, this example demonstrates a particular organizational strategy, as well as illustrates the types of writing and design decisions that you will want to consider in creating your poster.